I'm Wellington Simtembilawakadebe. I'm from Oram Institute, whereby we are based in Tembisa, in Winnie Mandela. It's uh, two sites, the site whereby we are doing a research on HIV and TB. Then in Winnie Mandela, it's where we are dealing with the medical circumcision. With the research that has been done, it shows that in medical circumcision, it reduces the risk of getting HIV with 60%. Then the 40%, you must condomize. It's not to say if at all you are circumcised, we are unique, you won't get HIV. Then uh, our services as well provide us, provide a HCT, HCT, whereby people are testing for HIV free. And we are also providing a TP screening whereby we screen people and we, we are strengthening the issue of health, the clinic. And also within our clinic, we are providing services, STI and STDs. Those are the sexual transmission diseases. And we are starting from the age of 10 years up to 70 years. Uh, what is very, very important for the people who are HIV positive, yes, they can circumcise, but we are looking at the issue of ECD for count. If the ECD for count is above 350, then the person qualified to, to circumcise. What is very, very important to our clinic, we want to encourage men so that they must come who attend the AMA clinics because as men, we are very, very difficult, it's very, very difficult actually to come to the clinics, who check about HIV. We are always saying, no, check on our first bit. Immediately, I'm first pregnant, while you test, then I am HIV because my wife, she was pregnant, she tested HIV negative. So, as ORAM, uh, we are we are the part we, we do have a partnership with the Department of Health whereby to strengthen the issue of your health around the ruling north. It's where we are based we are based and uh, as we still are in Tanzini because uh, as come it's done for three reasons. One it's a religion. I'm a Jews within seven days of done as come size. Two, it's a culture. Three, it's a medical. And as Oram, we do respect the norms and the values, the culture and the religion. But for, for, for this service was rare. And at that time, we have this thing you would know. Abandaba circumcised are with this tribe and this tribe. But now, with the research, they have discovered that almost to those countries, people, who, men who are circumcised, the HIV is spreading, it's, it's less. And it's it's not it's not a cure. It's not it's like a bulletproof. Whereby if in a cop when it's wearing a bulletproof, it's not to saying I got to blega to blega and talk, got to blega and yawe, not to blega something. So the forty percent, it's a bulletproof. That is why we are encouraging to to use a condom. And the the wound, it takes only six weeks. You eat any every, anything. There's no specific food for the medical circumcision. And we encourage women also, they do have a benefit out of the medical circumcision because immediately you have a sex with somebody, uh, then that dirtiness, immediately we have an intercourse. In the long run, we have a cervical cancer. Uh, uh, in number year two, you just do a please call on these numbers whereby immediately you do the please call, then we can call you. It's, all, it's 087 135 1631 or two or three or four or five. Then it sends a booking system. Umundu ya booka, although umundu ya booka, sembega go stand by. If at all somebody ya kona nguza, then see simfage on that. And it's not an emergency, a medical circumcision. And let's move the, the mindset to what it's done at winter, throughout the year. It's like umundu mabanga mkwaza ngo December. Then go mele or mele atete in operation, go mele alende uguti ujun. Medical circumcision, the wound, it's only treated with salt and water. Thanks. Thank you.